Line 1 subway extension opened in 2017, there was much fanfare about the new service and the six new modern stations. Planners of the project put a heavy emphasis on design and public art. Here at Pioneer Village Station, its signature art piece for riders still isn't functional five years after it was installed. At this Steeles Avenue West station, artistic touch is not hard to find. Passed through the main underground corridor, the large chandeliers are difficult to miss. Forty in all, you'll notice these are dark and have been for 1740 days now. I think we were on a rather good road here and um, of course it's a pity to have an, a large artwork like that just hanging there. Jan Edler is one of the designers behind Lightspell, the interactive lighting system that runs along the entire northbound platform here. First pitched in 2009 and selected by a TTC art jury, it would have allowed writers to input eight character messages that would have been displayed. The art commission was $500,000 and the lighting infrastructure cost $1.4 million. Lightspell is a piece about the freedom of speech and uh, an experiment of the inter interest of the individual versus the interest of a larger group. But in late 2017, just days before the extension opened... got a phone call by the project manager and he said, uh, we've got news, it's not going to um, be handed over to the public due to concerns of the management board of the TTC. So that came to complete surprise. For me. Concerns over hate speech, inappropriate messages, and safety concerns were cited. So for four years after back and forth over how to move forward, despite the project's overall intent, he said they agreed to a process of quarantining certain messages from being displayed, to be reviewed by an independent third party. Paid to overhaul the software, Ehler says the TTC then went silent. Since October 2021, we have not received any life sign anymore. So there there were a couple of attempts to say hello, what's going on, can we, pandemic is slowly coming to an end, can we kind of come to an agreement how to proceed. City News asked the TTC for an on-camera interview to talk about the project. Instead, a statement was sent. Spokesperson Stuart Green said safety and inclusion are the top priority, adding talks have been protracted. He says there hasn't been an agreement with the artists about the five conditions imposed by the board for operating. Green wouldn't elaborate on specific disagreements, but notes the lights can be turned on without the art element. No deadline on when that might happen, though. Meanwhile, as the massive system sits unused, Edler says he hopes a solution finally comes, and soon. The public also has a right, I think, uh, to get that piece and to decide themselves. And maybe then 10 years later or five years later, you can uh, decide again. For much more on this story, go to citynews.ca. In Toronto, Nick Westall, City News.